Hi. In this video, we are going to show you how to use or create pivot tables in Google Sheets. Now, pivot tables are or is a way to present and analyze your data without the use of much formulas. So if you're in a rush and you need to analyze and present your data, you can use pivot tables. And the process of creating pivot tables in Google Sheets is almost the same as that of Excel. So the first step is for us to click any cell within the range of cells. You don't have to highlight everything. You just have to click just one cell and then go to insert. And then under insert, we go to pivot table. You will get a pop-up wherein you have to check whether you got the right cells, in this case, A3 to F112, and then whether you should create a new or existing worksheet. Personally, I prefer creating new worksheets because I don't want my tables to be crammed in just one sheet. So I'll go with new sheet and then click create. And then you will now have a new worksheet here. And on the right side, you should see the pivot table editor. So let's examine what the pivot table editor contains. So here we have the fields. So we have sale date, transaction ID, province, product code, transaction amount. These are all okay, uh, part of our report. So each column in my range of cells are represented by a field in that pane on the right side. The next part of the pivot table editor would be the areas. So a pivot table editor or a pivot table contains four areas. So we have the row area, we have the column area, and we have the values area. So if you want to construct your pivot table, you simply have to drag fields towards the area and the pivot table on the left should update. For example, I am going to bring in the province field and drag it over on the rows area. So you will see that the rows area is allowing me a space to drop the province field and you will see that the pivot table on the left side updated to show me a list of provinces from the rows column. And then, of course, any pivot table would be incomplete if you do not have numbers to present. So in this case, I'm going to bring in the transaction amount and drag it over to the values area. Because this is amount, so they are best placed under the values area. And that's it. We are now done with our pivot table, at least on a basic level. We're in automatically in just less than a minute. We managed to create a summary report of all the transactions total, okay, com uh, compared per province. Now, the layout of your pivot table really depends on you. I can also bring in the province and move it to the columns area. And it will transform the pivot table into a horizontally oriented table. This is not necessarily a wrong table. It's just a different layout. So if you realize that this layout of the pivot table doesn't really look nice or doesn't really fit the way you want to present your data, then you simply can return the field okay, under the area you want it to be. And then other than that, other things that you can do here is you could add more data to your pivot table. For example, I want to bring in the product code and put it as columns of my report. Now, instead of dragging, another way that you can bring in fields to your pivot table is to click on the Add button. This is something that you won't see in Excel. So you just have to click Add in Google Sheets to uh, add beside the corresponding area and then you will see that you have the different options available for you so like what i said i want the product code to be in the columns area of my report so i go product code and now i have this breakdown of different product codes in the columns area of my report Now, if you realize that this is not how you want to present the data, so you can just redesign your pivot table again. 
So take note, it, this is not necessarily wrong, but if you want, you can also present it in a different way. And for that, let's say I want the product code to move under the rows area of my pivot table. So I'm going to drag the product code from the columns area and drag it under the province field in my rows area. And you will see that this will cause a transformation in my pivot table in just one drag. It's now like this. I can actually easily see it if I'm going to present it this way. So generally, that's it. That's how to create pivot tables in uh, Google Sheets. Now, there are other features that you can add or you can manipulate in your pivot table. For example, instead of sum in my pivot table, I could right click on my columns here. And I could see that I have other things that I can do in my pivot table, like I could create a filter, I could um, show the details, etc. So one feature of the pivot table that we can also explore is using the slicer or the filter. So for example, instead of showing the product code as part of the pivot table rows, I can also move the product code under the filters area. And you will see that this will cause a filter in my pivot table wherein I can specifically choose like one specific item only. So if I'm going to check this, click OK. So now I only have data that is specific to that area, to that product code. So I could change it from here, select all again if I want. So it will show all the data again. Now this may not be that intuitive when you present. So we can also bring in slicers instead because not everyone will really try to navigate here and look specifically for that product code. So it may be better that the filter is visible in your pivot table itself. So for that, you have to go to data and then under data, go to add a slicer. And then you have to select what column should act as the slicer. So let's choose product code this time, just like what we did a while ago. And we now have a slicer. So slicers are more intuitive compared to the filter option. So let's say that I can drop down here and choose the same one, this one. And then that's it. I now have selected a specific data in my pivot table. So I to click OK as you do that. And now I have filtered the report. So it's more intuitive compared to the one on the right side. And if you want to show all again, just go back to that drop down. And then just click select all. And you now have, and then click OK. And you now have again showed all the data in your pivot table. Another feature that you can explore in pivot tables in Google Sheets is if, for example, you want to change the calculation that it's doing from sum into something else. So since I X'd out the pane a while ago, I just have to click this button here. You should see that there's this pen icon, the edit icon, click, and that will pull up the pivot table editor again. We're in for the transaction amount. I can change it here and change it to a different uh, tool or a different calculation. For example, I could switch it to average. So instead of showing the sum, I have the average of the transaction amounts instead. Or if I just want to count them, then I'm getting the count of each of the transactions. If you want, you can also bring in the same field under values. Okay, and see that it will reset. Okay, showing us the transaction amount again. And that's it for our pivot tables in Google Sheets. See you in the next video.